Atomic Habits by James Clear is a comprehensive, practical guide on how to change your habits and get 1% better every day. Using a framework called the Four Laws of Behavior Change, Atomic Habits teaches readers a simple set of rules for creating good habits and breaking bad ones. Read the full summary to glean three key lessons from Atomic Habits, learn how to build a habit in four simple steps, and get a handy reference guide for the strategies recommended throughout the book. Three Key Lessons from Atomic Habits This section of the Atomic Habits summary presents key points from three of the core themes of the book. Lesson 1. Small Habits Make a Big Difference it is so easy to overestimate the importance of one defining moment and underestimate the value of making small improvements on a daily basis. Meanwhile, improving by 1% isn't particularly notable, sometimes it isn't even noticeable, but it can be far more meaningful, especially in the long run. The difference a tiny improvement can make over time is astounding. Here's how the math works out. If you can get 1% better each day for one year, you'll end up 37 times better by the time you're done. Conversely, if you get 1% worse each day for one year, you'll decline nearly down to zero. What starts as a small win or a minor setback accumulates into something much more. It doesn't matter how successful or unsuccessful you are right now. What matters is whether your habits are putting you on the path toward success. Focus on getting 1% better every day. Lesson 2. Forget about setting goals. Focus on your system instead. Goals are about the results you want to achieve. Systems are about the processes that lead to those results. If you're having trouble changing your habits, the problem isn't you. The problem is your system. Bad habits repeat themselves again and again not because you don't want to change, but because you have the wrong system for change. You do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. Atomic Habits presents a proven system for building good habits and breaking bad ones. Lesson 3. Build Identity-Based Habits The key to building lasting habits is focusing on creating a new identity first. Your current behaviors are simply a reflection of your current identity. What you do now is a mirror image of the type of person you believe that you are, either consciously or subconsciously. To change your behavior for good, you need to start believing new things about yourself. You need to build identity-based habits. Changing your beliefs isn't nearly as hard as you might think. There are two steps. 1. Decide the type of person you want to be. 2. Prove it to yourself with small wins. Your identity emerges out of your habits. Every action is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. How to build better habits in four simple steps. This section of the Atomic Habits Summary presents key points from the actionable strategies in the book, organized around a framework called the Four Laws of Behavior Change. The process of building a habit can be divided into four simple steps, cue, craving, response, and reward. Breaking it down into these fundamental parts can help us understand what a habit is, how it works, and how to improve it. The cue triggers a craving, which motivates a response, which provides a reward, which satisfies the craving and, ultimately, becomes associated with the cue. Together, these four steps form a neurological feedback loop, cue, craving, response, reward, cue, craving, response, reward that ultimately allows you to create automatic habits. This cycle is known as the habit loop. We can transform these four steps into a practical framework that we can use to design good habits and eliminate bad ones. The framework is called the Four Laws of Behavior Change, and it provides a simple set of rules for creating good habits and breaking bad ones. How to Create a Good Habit the first law, Q make it obvious. The second law, craving make it attractive. The third law, response make it easy. The fourth law, reward make it satisfying. How to break a bad habit. Inversion of the first law, Q make it invisible. 
Inversion of the second law, craving make it unattractive. Inversion of the third law, response make it difficult. Inversion of the fourth law, reward make it unsatisfying. How to create a good habit. The first law, make it obvious. 1. Fill out the habit scorecard. Write your current habits to become aware of them. 2. Use implementation intentions, I will. Some behavior. At. Time. In. Some location. 3. Use habit stacking, after. Current habit. I will. New habit. 4. Design your environment. Make the cues of good habits obvious and visible. The second law, make it attractive. 1. Use temptation bundling. Pair an action you want to do with an action you need to do. 2. Join a culture where your desired behavior is the normal behavior. 3. Create a motivation ritual. Do something you enjoy immediately before a difficult habit. The third law, make it easy. 1. Reduce friction. Decrease the number of steps between you and your good habits. 2. Prime the environment. Prepare your environment to make future actions easier. 3. Master the decisive moment. Optimize the small choices that deliver outsized impact. For use the two-minute rule. Downscale your habits until they can be done in two minutes or less. 5. Automate your habits. Invest in technology and one-time purchases that lock in future behavior. The fourth law, make it satisfying. 1. Use reinforcement. Give yourself an immediate reward when you complete your habit. 2. Make doing nothing enjoyable. When avoiding a bad habit, design a way to see the benefits. 3. Use habit tracker. Keep track of your habit streak and don't break the chain. 4. Never miss twice. When you forget to do a habit, make sure you get back on track immediately. How to break a bad habit. Inversion of the first law, make it invisible. 1. Reduce exposure. Remove the cues of your bad habits from your environment. Inversion of the second law, make it unattractive. 1. Reframe your mindset. Highlight the benefits of avoiding your bad habits. Inversion of the third law, make it difficult. 1. Increase friction. Increase the number of steps between you and your bad habits. 2. Use a commitment device. Restrict your future choices to the ones that benefit you. Inversion of the fourth law, make it unsatisfying. 1. Get an accountability partner. Ask someone to watch your behavior. 2. Create a habit contract. Make the costs of your bad habits public and painful. Some popular atomic habits quotes. 1. Every action you take is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. No single instance will transform your beliefs, but as the votes build up, so does the evidence of your new identity. This is one reason why meaningful change does not require radical change. Small habits can make a meaningful difference by providing evidence of a new identity. And if a change is meaningful, it is actually big. That's the paradox of making small improvements. 2. All big things come from small beginnings. The seed of every habit is a single, tiny decision. But as that decision is repeated, a habit sprouts and grows stronger. Roots entrench themselves and branches grow. The task of breaking a bad habit is like uprooting a powerful oak within us. And the task of building a good habit is like cultivating a delicate flower one day at a time. 3. The purpose of setting goals is to win the game. The purpose of building systems is to continue playing the game. True long-term thinking is goal-less thinking. It's not about any single accomplishment. It is about the cycle of endless refinement and continuous improvement. Ultimately, it is your commitment to the process that will determine your progress. For people get so caught up in the fact that they have limits that they rarely exert the effort required to get close to them. 5. The first mistake is never the one that ruins you. It is the spiral of repeated mistakes that follows. 
Missing once is an accident. Missing twice is the start of a new habit. Sixth, conventional wisdom holds that motivation is the key to habit change. Maybe if you really wanted it, you'd actually do it. But the truth is, our real motivation is to be lazy and to do what is convenient. And despite what the latest productivity bestseller will tell you, this is a smart strategy, not a dumb one. 7. When scientists analyze people who appear to have tremendous self-control, it turns out those individuals aren't all that different from those who are struggling. Instead, disciplined people are better at structuring their lives in a way that does not require heroic willpower and self-control. 8. Some people spend their entire lives waiting for the time to be right to make an improvement. 9. Whenever you want to change your behavior, you can simply ask yourself, how can I make it obvious? How can I make it attractive? How can I make it easy? How can I make it satisfying? 10. Over the long run, however, the real reason you fail to stick with habits is that your self-image gets in the way. This is why you can't get too attached to one version of your identity. Progress requires unlearning. Becoming the best version of yourself requires you to continuously edit your beliefs and to upgrade and expand your identity. And this is all about the book. Thank you so much for tuning into my audiobook. Your support means a lot to me. If you enjoyed what you heard and want to hear more, consider subscribing to my channel. Your subscription helps me create more content like this. Thanks again for listening.